Good morning, guys. Welcome to Lady J Love's channel where God turns your frowns upside down. And he will do it if you allow it. I know this to be true. Good morning, good morning to you guys. Well, I woke up this morning and um, I was taking my shower again. And in, in the shower, I was just thinking to myself how it amazes me how much love I have for other people. Um, people that that ordinarily you wouldn't give a hoot about because of their personalities and and what they uh, put out into the world, the aura that they give off in the world. But um, it amazes me how God can change your way of thinking when you live in his word. Um, it shows you how to love someone, even though they're the person they are. Regardless, you're looking past all their flaws, all their indignities, all their bad ways. Uh, you're looking past all that, and you still have love for them in your heart. And I think, you know, at one time in my life, there's no way. There's no way. You know, I could ain't no way I can love that person. Oh, just the thought of it made me mad. But when I, and you know, it happened. It happened and I didn't even realize that it happened. It, and I just realized one day that, my God, I have no hatred in my heart no more for nobody. For nobody. For nobody. When I tell you that, it's literally nobody. Nobody. Okay, not even for the people that has hurt my family. I, I, I love you. I love you because you're a sick, sad person. I love you. And I know it sounds crazy, and I know it's hard for people to believe. But when you love the ratchet, it, it, it just uplifts you on the inside even more because you know that you have God in you to be able to do that. And I want to just talk about um, live the life of love. Okay, live the life of love. Um, we can't get through this world without it. You would, if 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 there wasn't some some type of love in this world, ain't no time. We all be dead up through here. You know what I'm saying? We all be dead. And um, I just you know I I just think it's important that you look past some people's flaws. Um. When you love unconditionally, no matter what, you know, then you have accomplished. You have accomplished one of the biggest goals of it all. You know that God is in you and you know that you're on the right road to salvation. To salvation. And faith works. Faith works by love. A true believer, a true believer knows this or should know this. That how can you have faith in God's word and his works when you're not living by his word? And his number one rule is to love all no matter what. Okay, so how can you say that you have faith? Faith works on love. And if a believer steps out of the realm of love, but they say they believe, God will pull your blessing ticket. He'll pull it. And you will you you it's a good chance you'll lose a lot of the blessings that you already have. Okay, because that one rule, that's the number one rule. And if you don't abide by his number one rule, ain't no it ain't no none of his other rules gonna matter if you follow him. Okay, because you done stepped out of line. You done got out of line now. And if you think that you gonna 
win me over by following the other rules, it's not going to happen. You get back in line and you get back on track and you remember where you at. Okay. You better live it and you better love. Love it. Okay. Without... Without loving, if you don't have love in your heart, giving, giving to someone, it it won't matter. You 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 can give, give a give, give all you want, but you're not gonna get any blessings behind it. Okay, because you giving to a person that you possibly don't care nothing about, really. Don't want to give. Okay. And it's not just that person. You might be holding anger and animosity and hate in your heart towards other people. Okay. But you're giving. You're giving to someone else out of kindness. But you hold harbor hate in your heart for someone else. That's a no-go, baby. You, you're not going to get any blessings. Behind that. Okay, that's a rough slate. You wanna might wanna clean that up a little bit. A lot. Okay? And go back to the drawing board with Jesus because that ain't gonna fly with him. Okay. And when your faith begin to fail, your mind become fogged, you can't hear God's voice no more. When you don't abide by his number one rule, which is live love, you can't hear, he stops talking to you. He stops sending you uh, those good messages. Okay. He stops whispering in your ear those sweet nothings. Okay. All because you refuse to give in and soften your heart. You begin to lose or not be able to focus on the knowledge that he's already, that he's been instilling in you. You can't concentrate and think about what he's already talked to you about. And, and what he wants you to do because you're so busy focusing on hating some someone in the world. Your mind is so fogged with selfishness. Okay. And he stops listening to you until you understand his number one rule, that is live in love. Get on board. Okay, get on board. You, um, the only thing I could tell you is John, John 1, Chapter 2, verse 5 through 6. Okay, that's one. Hold on, because I had to write one, the other one down. And the other one is John 1, chapter 2, 5 through 6. Okay, read those and it will tell you how to live in love. Okay, and it's, it's really, it's, it's in Corinthians, Corinthians 13, chapter 4 through 8. Okay, all of these will let you know more about what I'm talking about and what it's going to take for you to hang on to those blessings and for you to stop losing them, okay? God bless you, God keep you. And by the way, Get rid of jealousy, 
being too proud, rude, and selfishness. It's all in those chapters. Read them. God bless you. God keep you. Welcome to Lady J Love's channel where God turns your frowns upside down. Again, Corinthians 13, chapter 1, I mean, chapter 13, 1 through 13. Okay? Read them. God be with you. God bless you. Love you. Peace out.